How you doing everyone? Welcome back. Hope you're enjoying the day. Thought I'd just do a really quick look at ASM, Assemble Protocol. And yeah, I'm on the daily chart for now. And um, just to pull out for the total price action that we've got on the Coinbase is uh, we're significantly lower um, than our all time high, which we've seen up at um, almost 26 cents. And we're currently sitting down just below uh, six cents after putting in what looks like an all-time low uh, a couple of weeks back. So what to look for now is we need to basically get up and break above seven eight six, um, which is accurately um, just above nine cents, literally. And as you'll see from the daily chart, we've got a significant significant resistance there so we are not going to hold above nine cents um, in the next week just have to put that out there it's an improbability we could fly in there but we're going to fly straight back out I, I do not see us um, having any sort of level of support um, at nine cents but we could have some just below it so what's it going to look like in the short term um so from from our low um at 44 we're uh, we we need to break above um 786 which is essentially uh double from where we were at the low uh, just over 9 cents so i'm going to take us into the hourly because <clears throat> what i've done is i've charted from the low to the recent high and you can see where we are so we're going to the hourly and what has just essentially happened um, yesterday is we have broken through the Ishimoku cloud um, and we've been kind of held a tiny bit of resistance we've come back we've back tested we did fall into the Ishimoku which is not ideal for a, a high level of continuation but we have bounced from it we fell in didn't fall too far and after a few hours we were away and gone we had another attempt um, at our resistance zone at 5.8 um after three hours of attempts we had a little pull back and we've just blown through um five hours ago or four hours ago and we're just into the fifth hour now so uh, it's looking good it's looking good for asm to break up to um six two and from where we are at five nine five to get up to six two is not the biggest jump in the world i have to be honest um so i think that if you're looking at opening a position on um, asm um i'll give you an example of what to look for now so because we've not been super bullish and had a quick bounce off of the cloud and then launched and if you've watched most of my videos recently you'll see that quite a lot of tokens once they break through the cloud they either just catapult straight through it from being below or they'll have a quick back test here and then you'll see continuation um, and we did have a very small amount of that but we also wicked yeah um, um, it's not looking tremendous for ASM the, the volume's not in we've got about 50% higher on the day um, but it's not a big amount considering Bitcoin's up about 14% and if we were to look at this over the day we'd probably see about the same sort of movement um, so what we kind of look for with the altcoins is when Bitcoin takes off, say 10%, we would expect to see a very bullish altcoin fly off by at least 30 or 40%. So if something's price matching percentage wise between Bitcoin and an altcoin, it just means that if uh, Bitcoin does decide to have a, a slight correction, which is still on the table, um, the altcoin will more than likely fall back with it so uh, we're looking for, for big gains here guys we're not in this for the small change um <clears throat> but with asm what to look for now would be a level of continuation for a pullback and i think we're going to retest some support here and depending on where we come to meet the cloud we may hang around below and then at that point i expect us to launch higher that's uh yeah that's that's effectively the pattern i expect to see play out I could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. Um, but what else could be on the cards? And I'm just going to pull back a little for this now. Would be um, that Bitcoin goes off on a monumental move 
um, it is consolidating, and I have, <laughs> I have to say, uh, I think Bitcoin is either going to have a little drop back to circa 40,700 and then really blow, um, or it's going to it's going to pull back uh, to circa 38 to uh, possibly lower, uh, possibly lower. But let's let's see. This isn't a Bitcoin video, but just to say that if Bitcoin launches from here and we we see it fly. Uh, up to circa 44.6, which is its next resistance. That is going to be really good for ASM, who is there. Um, and then that could see ASM project on a nice little giga run up to there. Now, I'm marking that red because I don't see it playing out. I really don't. Um, yeah. That's kind of that's kind of where we are, guys. Um, I'm not going to put a blue prediction in. I think we're either going to go or we're going to have a little bit of upwards, some sideways, put in a, a new foundation and then have a little launch from there. All right. Not financial advice. Best of luck. See you all soon.